all right guys in this video we will be basically talking about vehicle legends and at its current state now as we all know this is a great car game and it's a ton of cool features that not a lot of other games have however uh over the past few months now they've been slowly i don't know how to say this slowly falling the reason why i think this is um this game driving empire has been licensing basically weekly like their cars they've been getting licensed cars every week while vehicle legends has been removing cars every week now i believe that there are over 15 brands that have been removed from the game like from the dealership i should say but that's still quite bad now uh, i'm going to be talking about some solutions that that the owner can do to fix these problems let's get right into it all right so the first solution we have i mean it's kind of obvious is uh licensed cars now um i know it isn't easy to get licensed cars but like i feel like she could have done it a lot sooner when you think about because of driving empire has been licensing their cars for quite a long time now and uh we haven't gotten any teasers of what cars that could be licensed in vehicle legends now uh i know that technically it is illegal to tell the audience of what car is getting licensed but like the owner of the game doesn't really send out teasers at all let alone licensed car teasers so now if he could pull it off soon then this game can be easily revived if not yep it's not gonna last that's all i can say the second solution i mean it's pretty obvious as well it's uh a new map now uh this map has not only been around in 2021 but in 2022 i think they added this map back and it's been the same ever since like he hasn't bothered to change anything about it which kind of sucks now the only thing i could think of that he has changed actually on the map is this new dealership but like after a while it just gets stale we got the customization it's been the same for a long time bike dealership then you go through the city and stuff like i think i've explored every part of the map like 20 times i'd say that's how long it's been here like i know the map inside out now like i can not be playing and i could still name every part of the map which is kind of crazy so yeah that's oh and also if they add the map a lot of og players will return because like who wouldn't want a good map you know like that would be crazy like this map is pretty small all right next up we have like more events if you know what i'm saying like we know that vehicle legends does events we have like these uh like wait the barn hunt we had that we had halloween event winter event like you know we all we had these but like that's not enough events like if you know driving empire like tries to do a lot of events like they they've done a ton in the past like i've seen them do like a taxi event brought a lot of players to the game because like it gave them something fun to do but in this game we hardly get any and whenever we do it's just like it's not as loved as the driving empire ones that's all i can say about that now now it's not like the events are bad or anything i just feel like they could be a bit better and yeah more frequent frequently no what more frequent wait more fre frequently as well that would be uh pretty nice because yeah we just don't see much going on all right so now uh this is a pretty big car game uh, it is the competitor of driving empire and i'm gonna tell you something did you know that this game vehicle legends the owner faninian has originally been the owner of driving empire i know that sounds crazy right now uh, they used to be friends working on this game which is now driving empire it was called wayford 
they've been working on that together and then after a small while the they got in an argument or something and then he gave the game to Borges and continued to build his own car game which is now Vehicle Legend. Alright anyways I got a little off topic there but like the next alright the next solution is how should I say this better updates like as you guys probably have noticed, the updates in this game have becoming more booty by the day, by the week I should say. Uh, I, I believe last update we got uh, two Teslas right here, this one and that one. And the Aston Martin removals, which is even worse. Uh, and then the week before that, all we had was Ferrari being removed. I didn't make a video about that, I'll put a link in the description if I remember. So, yeah, the updates are pretty, pretty ass, okay? Yeah, I said it. I don't know what to say. Uh, like, Driving Empires updates are like, damn, like they're crazy compared to this. But like, it's not like the updates are horrible, but like, don't take this personally, but I feel like Faninian is getting kind of lazy. I know, I know, lazy sounds a little too far, but you know, it's just my opinion. Alright, the last solution we have is the them adding codes, like, yeah, I know they did remove codes quite a long time ago, now, uh, that wasn't a good idea in my opinion, like, they should have a, a code whenever they hit, like, a certain milestone, like, for example, like, 2 billion visits like when that happens they should have like a code for like a limited time car or like some free cash I don't know something like that where like you know it could get pretty it's pretty cool all right so the conclusion is is vehicle legends dying the answer is no not quite actually it actually has more players than driving empire considering it losing a bunch of cars but i feel like they could do better updates they could as i mentioned before like with all my solutions they could do that and yeah the game could thrive if they do that however if they don't uh we might see some consequences later on so yeah that basically ends the video Hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, share with a friend if you can, and yeah, love you guys, have a nice day.